In order to professionally set up a camera movement in Blender, it takes more than just time, although it is of great importance. Cinema Pack add-on for Blender developed by Lewis Martin got you covered. It is a huge collection of pre-animated, fully customizable and professional camera moves created for the sole purpose of helping you save time and boost up project's production value in Blender. You can easily import into your scene camera moves typically found in Hollywood movies, motion graphics, advertisement and VFX shots, which have been designed by professional cinematographers, of course working in the film industry. When you use the Cinema Pack add-on, it will allow you to manage all the possibilities when it comes to camera movements. To use one of the cameras that Cinepack offers in your scene, all you have to do is select the camera move you wish to add and click the red import button. This will add the camera you choose to your scene at the center of the world. You can preview the camera move before importing. You can click the preview button that will play the animation in your default system image viewer. The add-on offers 70 plus camera move animations across 9 categories. You have of course your zooms, plans, pulls and pushes, but you also have cinematics, flyovers, FPV and chaotic animations that offer more compound animations. Every camera move you add to the scene has an arrow shape handle parented to it. You can use that to manipulate the camera positions and rotation without affecting the camera moves animation. You can also animate the handle to get even more compound and complex animations. With the new update, you can get a search bar at the top to search through your camera moves. You can also select multiple categories by holding down shift while selecting different categories. If you add multiple cinematic cameras into your scene, you get a menu to select which one is active. You can also control the focal length, depth of field, and you can choose the focus object for your camera right within the add-on window, which is really convenient. All the cameras work perfectly with cycles or AV render engines. The Cinema Pack add-on also includes an extra category, which contains a cable cam that can be parented to any object in your scene for perfect tracking shots. There are also essential lighting setups for you to use in your scene, including an LED ring light, light pole, and a three-point lighting setup. To add any of those, you just hit the import button, same as the camera moves. Cinema Pack's add-ons camera moves has been crafted to enhance your project quickly and easily, without the need for any prior experience in animation, keyframing, or camera work, which is great if you want to nail camera movements without the knowledge and the time necessary to do that in the first place. You can use some of these cinematic movements to add crucial production value to your shots and to add visual interesting stuff for music videos, or maybe to try out some of the chaotic moves in your next Blender simulation or motion graphics video. But the takeaway here is that possibilities are endless, so you have to be creative about it. Also every month, more camera moves will be added to Cinepack, so be sure to stick around for more updates. If you are interested in learning more about Blender, then I recommend you try Skillshare. It is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. And you can find a lot of classes about Blender that can help you do that step by step. For example, this class called Blender 3D, your first 3D animation, in which you will learn rigging and animation in 3D as a beginner. This course will cover skills traditionally used in animation, motion design, and video game design. If you are a beginner or someone who has a bit of experience with Blender, then this course is going to be definitely for you. The first 1000 people to use the link will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. If you are interested in this add-on, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.